Okay. I'm leaving myself open to a howl in here um, because I've done something absolutely catastrophically wrong out on the new Acer AT350F2 server, which is running my bare metal hypervisor. G'day everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I don't know what I've done wrong. Either I was in a great big dirty hurry to get the hypervisor back up and running, or I've missed a configuration step or something, but it's not right. I don't know what I don't know what the hell's wrong with it, but it's it's not happy. So we're gonna go out back out of the workshop, blow it all away again. It's possible I've made a mistake. Um, I was in a hurry to get the hypervisor back up and running again. Funny how I do it to my own stuff, but never do anyone else's stuff. Even the other half's laptops get set up properly before mine do. Um, I don't know what I did wrong. So I'm just going to blow the whole stinking lot away again. Um, reconfigure it. Um, I'm not going to worry about adding more RAM to it just yet. Um, we're going to leave it on 64 gig. So we'll go back out the workshop, blow it all away. I am open to being howled on for making a stuff up. Um, I'm looking at about seven people at the moment who, believe or not, I reckon will give me an absolute howling for doing it like I did. I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know how I, how I did it. Um, the only thing is, I must have been in a hurry because I wanted the hypervisor back up and running again. So let's head out of the workshop, blow it all away, start again, come back to desk and go, go for the third time. Let's get into it. All right, so in we back up. I've re-rated it up. So I'll go over, but four one terrors here, three half terrors here. This is in RAID 5. Now, the reason I've put it into RAID 5 is to maximize the amount of storage I've got for the main VM store, um, which this gives me my three or 2.7 terabyte total storage. If I'd gone into RAID 6, I'd only have a um, two terra out of, you know, nearly four. So, I've left it as RAID 5. I've got 2.7 Terra in RAID 5. This is in RAID 5 at 1 Terra. So, main VM store, temp VM store. You'll see there, VD0 RAID 5, 2.6 Terra. VD1 RAID 5, 929 gig. So, VD0 is my boot drive, so that's the main drive. So what we'll do now is go back and uh, exit out of the system. And hold the camera properly. Yes. Alt, Control, Delete to reboot. Hang on, I've got to put the camera down. All right, so we're rebooting. I've got ESXi on USB. Now, I was asked why didn't I put it on USB initially. This is only USB 2. And so I don't have enough USBs going around to warrant um, putting one on the motherboard. And this is only a USB 2 system. Not enough on the screen for the camera to focus. You can see there, total size. Oh, so we will boot into that. There we go. All right, so I'll go off and reinstall ESXi 6.7 and then we'll get it all set back up again. All right, now that the camera's actually focused, I'll show you how quick this loads. 
we'll do a system setup of ESXi 6.7. It's really no different to 6.5, other than I think it's got better memory management. It's definitely faster. It's on a new kernel as well. It's on 816-9922. All right. So, hopefully this is better. What I'm actually going to do is reinstall all the temp uh, all the VMs I had, I'm just going to install them all in one hit. So that's um, OpenMan Driver, Ferran OS, Win7, and Solaris. Oh, and GhostBSD. So I'll just get them all installing at once. I just don't have enough large capacity drives. All right, let's set this up. Of course I accept the license. <laughs> okay, so we want it on the 2.6 Terra. Let me do passwords and everything and we'll come back. All right, passwords are done. So we'll go off. And we'll go and install it. And watch how quickly this installs. Focus again. You can see how quickly it installs. It's getting really washed out this camera at the moment. I don't know what's wrong with it. You can see how quickly it installs. Nearly done too. gets washed out on this screen this camera but anyway all right so there's the redo of the ESXi uh, we'll go as soon as this is done we'll get it all set up go back to the desk and I'll show you all right so we're booting into the new hypervisor if the camera loses focus again there it goes all right so here comes the new one so I'll go and uh, do DNS name, do IP, um, everything like that, and then we'll go back to this and I'll show you. All right, so reinstalled, re-rated. Um, now we've just got to add the storage. And you can see here that I've got, um, that's the second drive there, so I can add a new data store, create a new one. You can see there, so that's the second RAID 5 drive. VM ISO. We use the full disk. We'll finish that off. Yes. You can see here I've got the two that I need. And we'll call this one um, we'll rename that. store so you see there I've got my temporary VMs and ISOs and then the main VM store so you can see here I've got total capacity of 2.65 Tera and total capacity of 928 odd 928 gig basically which is more than enough so that gets ESXi set up again. I've already done my license, um, which is done now. Oh, I'm obviously not going to show you my license um, because with ESXi you get a license anyway. So that's got it done. You can see there I've renamed it BYT ESXi. So we'll now bring up uh, this. Actually, we might as well do this all in one hit while we're here. A 
that's not even the right password. That's a different password. <laughs> Successful, close, connect anyway, you always get that, not now. All right, so the first thing we need to do is, I suppose I better upload all my ISOs again, that's easy. Let me go and do that and then we'll fire off and install them all in one hit. All right, so five, five ISOs to upload and then what we'll do once they're uploaded, we'll create all the VMs and then run off and install them all. So let me get them uploaded and we'll... Okay, so I forgot to upload GhostBSD. So I've got Ferran, Overman Driver, Solaris and Win 7. I found my AIO ESD. So I'm now just waiting for GhostBSD to upload and then we'll, um, we'll go again. I hope. <laughs> Alright, so all our ISOs are uploaded. Start creating all the virtuals. Um, we'll get Windows 760. Oh no, actually, I'll do Linux first. Other, next, next, BIOS, dual core, 8192. Uh, LSI logic, SATA, 180, 3.03, .03, customize the hardware, need to add a USB controller, Leave it as USB 2 because I don't need it. Use the ISO, browse the ISO, and we're going with Open Man Driver. Close, finish. So there's Open Man Driver done. Ah, oh, edit. It's actually unfortunate you have to add the controllers manually. It would be a lot easier if you could just browse to Ferran. So that's Ferran done. Six plus ten twenty-four is. Um, oh, I'll just leave it as four gig RAM for this one. That's all right. Sada again. One hundred and twenty gig. Solaris eleven point three is right. It'd be really good if you could actually just have the USB controller preset rather than. Um, Solaris 11 done. 
So that's uh, those ones done. We'll add another virtual. Other it's a free BSD. This is eleven point one. Dual core next. We'll give this one six gig of RAM. Except for the fact that I can't remember how much six gig is. Let's bust out the calculator. Oops. Five one two zero. Oh. oh no. Hang on, that's not right. I want six gig of RAM on it. Six one double four. That's oh. Uh, SATA. 60 on Ghost BSD. Customize the hardware. We'll add the USB 2 controller. ISO. Um, oh, I want that one there, don't I? Close that. Finish that. Okay, and I'm going to add one. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Hang on a minute. I didn't mean to power that on. Power it off. It's better. <laughs> Whoops. And last, we will do Windows. Oh, I've got a couple of Windows to do anyway. Win 7 Ultimate. BIOS, dual core, 5144, we'll give this one 5 gig of RAM, SATA, oh hang on, logic, SATA, 160 gig, <sighs> oh where's that actually putting it? Oh, no, hang on, it's not putting it in the right spot. Oh, yes, it is. I've got the USB controller there. No, I forgot to add the USB controller. So, there I've got my five alternatives ready to have their OS's installed and to make sure that they're actually in the right spot, you can see there they're on the VM store which is right. Alright, so now we'll go off and power them all up and get them all installed. And uh, once they're all done, I'll uh, I'll come back. All right. Well, they're all installing. Um, Openman drivers installing, Ferens installing, Solaris is installing, GhostBSD installing, and Windows 7 is installing. You can see there, I'm using about 7.95, nearly 8 gig, out of a possible 19 gig of total CPU speed. Um, which is good. So they're all installing now. So once they're all installed, um, we'll be done. Okay, so we're happily installing away. Open Man Drive is nearly done. Ferrin's doing the last little bit of stuff. Solaris is nearly done. Ghost BSD failed. I don't know why it failed, so I'm redoing the installation of it. And um, Windows 7 Ultimate's taking a bit of time, but I am running, you know, a heap of installs all at once. So, we'll 
I'll just have to see what happens. Now, what the next trick will be, obviously, I'll do VM tools. I'll do the VMX configuration for this one, this one, and this one. I've got to work out what's going on with audio here with Solaris. Um, I don't know why it won't take it, but anyway, so there we go. All fixed. A complete rebuild of the hypervisor. Um, I'll get in touch with um, Jimmy Acklaw and Paul Turner uh, later on to get um, LX Legacy 2, which I thought I had. Um, I might even put um, Windmate on instead of LX Legacy. Uh, I'll have to work it out. I've got it somewhere. And Hybrid X 2.7, which I've lost the ISO, and I can't even find the private message that Paul Turner sent me either, which is a problem. So anyway, but there we go. All done. The new uh, the new hypervisor is sorted out. Um, we'll just have to wait for everything to reinstall again. Ooh. Don't forget the night, 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, GMT UTC plus 10. We'll have the Backyard Tech Channel live stream conversations for Tuesday. Until then, as always, we shall catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.